What is up my fam fam? Ashley Elizabeth here with AEHM Artistry bringing you another Halloween tutorial. This time it is doing the Pumpkin Queen. I know I'm a bit of a floating head right now because I got the black shirt on, the black backdrop, but you know what? I got these cute little orange Halloween lights that you can barely see on my camera just for you guys because it's all Halloween vibes over here. But I'm a floating head because I'm gonna wanna be a floating head because I'm only gonna wanna be a pumpkin head. I'm gonna be a pumpkin queen. That is what we're here for. That is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna give you a little tutorial about how to create that. If you would like to see me transform my face into pumpkin queen and you wanna know how to do that, then sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. All right, to start off, I'm gonna prime the face just as I normally would with any other makeup application. Always make sure your skin is prepped. I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX primer, but use whatever worked for you. I like this one because it pretty much works with any type of foundation, cream, whatever I use, and there's gonna be lots of colored creams today because it's a Halloween makeup look. So, slather that puffy on. Stay away from the brows though, and you'll see why in a minute. All right, to start off right out of the gate, we are going to be covering up them brows if they aren't already gone. If you don't have brows, you don't have to worry about this part. So I'm gonna take an Elmer's glue stick. Fun fact about the Elmer's brand, apparently they're cruelty-free and vegan. I know like that's a whole rabbit hole to get down into school supplies, but um, they don't use any kind of animal product in this one and they're kind of, they're, they're cruelty-free, they claim to be and that's all I can go off of. Little fun fact of the day. So to do this, how I start off to cover up my brows, and if you want like a full separate tutor tutorial on covering up brows, let me know and I'll do that. But I just kind of bring it up in an upwards motion like that. And not all glues are created equal. So do know that. You can't just go on and slather a bunch of super glue on your eyebrows because girl, you ain't gonna have eyebrows after that or guy, whoever's doing it, you're not gonna have eyebrows if you cover them in super glue. So glue sticks tend to be the tried and true favorite of pretty much everybody. You can use, uh, what's it called, spirit gum glue, but I'm not a fan of that. It's too difficult to remove. This is how I like to do it. If you have thicker brows, you will have to do a lot of layers, but this I just go over a few times. This is a little disposable spoolie, and it wasn't meant to be broken, but I accidentally broke it. A lot of people will use a spatula, whatever. I like these disposable spoolies because once it gets gunky, I can just throw it right away. So I kind of go back a little bit, back and forth on that, kind of lay them all down. However, they kind of want to lay flat. Go over it just a couple times. Don't overdo it because once it starts getting tacky, it's gonna start balling up and get weird on you and you don't want that. So next what I do is I take that same little tool I was using and I scrape off some of the glue. It's okay that it's purple because it's gonna dry clear. Don't worry, you can already tell that it is. So then I take that and I kind of start mushing it over the brows. That way it fills in any kind of gapping or spacing that you have spatuling it on, and then smoothing it at the same time. All right, so now while that one's drying, I'm gonna start working on the other side. Just doing the same, same old thing. And don't even think about touching this side or else it's gonna get weird on you. I'm telling you, don't touch it. All right, so that's pretty much good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder and whatever setting powder you wanna use, and I'm just gonna pat it right onto the brows. Now I'm not doing like full on, full on brow cover and redrawing brows or anything. I'm gonna use the shape of this to start my jack-o'-lantern. So this will be good. Pat it on, pat it on baby. And then I'm just gonna dust away very, very gently. We're not worried about color correcting or doing any foundation or anything over that because like I said, we're gonna use it as the cutouts for the eyes. So I'm gonna paint my whole face orange now, uh, just to the jawline, leaving the ears and everything because my hair's gonna be down and then I'm gonna paint my neck black later. So I'm using the Ben Nye color wheel and I'm just gonna use that orange shade right there, baby, because it is like the perfect shade. I already have it on my mixing palette right here and I'm just gonna paint away. There's lots of different types of cream makeups that you can get. Wet n Wild has a new line that just came out if you can't get the Ben Nye one. And I'm gonna take it on a little synthetic brush and I'm gonna put it pretty much all over my face except like the areas that I know I'm gonna be blocking out, like my eyes, and then don't do too tight around the lips. And then uh, my nose, I'll just do about right there.
Now that that's happening, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this whole shebang with an orange powder, and I liked the shade in the Laura Lee Party Animal Palette, Dranks, that shade right there. I also have my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. There's a couple orange shades that we will dabble in with later. And I'm gonna take a brush that I don't really care that much about, and I'm gonna tap it on, baby. Oh yeah, just gonna set set that not like worried about like any kind of coloring i just noticed that this matched pretty well although this looks really red but this powder is not really changing the color of it so as long as you have a close shade to it it should be fine i just want to set it and then i'm going to go in and add some texture just a word of the wise though if you are using a palette that you do like a lot wipe off your brush in between dipping from placing the powder on or else you could run the risk of getting some of the cream product into the powder just a little tip for you. With the same Ben Nye color wheel, I mixed up the orange and just a touch of the black just to create a little bit of a darker, kind of rusty, orangey, brownish, reddish shape. And I'm going to take a sponge, this little dampened sponge right here. I'm gonna tip a little bit of it and I'm just gonna kind of create lines, kind of play around with some texture here. I like age it a little bit. I'm going to take a black eyeliner and kind of draw out and trace what I'm going to do around my eyes and then I'll fill it in with the black cream paint. So I'm using my eyebrows to kind of help shape it. Uh, kind of going along that curve. I might like feather that out a little bit. <laughs> if you just randomly skip the middle of this video, that would be very, very, very weird look. Yeah. All right, time to paint. Right now I'm gonna put some eyeliner on real quick because I should have done this already. So take your little orange sponge. Okay, now I'm gonna set the black, but then I'm gonna go back and detail it just cause it's starting to crease. So I'm gonna use the black in the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette, but any matte black will do. Okay, so I started feathering this side just with that flat part of the concealer brush, the little skinny part. So I just kind of follow the grooves again. It's all about kind of following your face shape and everything when you're deciding this stuff. And I even out my layers right here. And just do these tiny little brush strokes. And I'm gonna go in with a more pointed brush and fine tune it more a little bit. I'm gonna take this itty bitty little brush and I'm gonna go and do some more little tiny streaks. Sorry, there's not much to say. It's just kind of like hand painting and hand placing wherever you see fit. And I would say I would try to make them mostly even, but they do not have to be perfect sides, obviously. That's fine for now. Let's do the nosy poo real quick. I'm gonna take that pencil again and I'm gonna kind of do like a skull type of nose. So I just kind of like, again, follow the grooves of my nose. And I can make it a little bit higher if I need to. But I wanna keep it almost kind of triangular like a pumpkin would be. And I keep checking my work and making sure like I want to not be able to see it 
the under part of my nose in the viewfinder when I go to check, so that's what I keep checking. That's just for pictures. I mean, in real life, you're gonna see my nose, but. And I just added those little flicks just like to match my eyes. So now I'm gonna go back in and set that nosy poo also with the black powder. Time for the smile, the fun part. So this is what I think the easiest way to do to do this jaggedy smile. Take your brush, have a little bit of the black on there and you're gonna kind of start in the middle and then like wiggle it to what you wanna do. Cause you're gonna be creating, you know, those teeth. And then we'll go back in and fine tune it. Yeah, that's cool. That's coming along good. Again, it's a, it's just kind of like freehanding and just kind of feeling the grooves of your mouth. And you can always widen the opening. Just start with this and then you can play after that. gonna paint my lips black. And now I'm gonna deepen up the center especially, and then we'll go back and do some little flickies. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna set it with black powder. Surprise, surprise, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and add some texture into the face. Now I'm ever gonna so slightly blend in some of the yellow cream from the Ben Nye wheel with that same brush. I already have the orange on just so I get like a little blend. Kind of lighten this up a smidge bit, make sure it doesn't turn too red on me. Kind of like swirl it in. Let it blend in with those oranges that we already placed down. Just when you get to the black area, be very careful. Kind of creating like those shadows and the base that we laid down is going to be that shadow of the lines that are in a pumpkin so this is kind of like kind of like highlighting we're reverse contouring our pumpkin right now and then once you get like your good like blend down you take a little bit of that yellow right in the middle Ooh, there's a little bit of black on it that's okay it'll blend up Take it right in the middle and then blend it out. Ooh, spooky. I'm excited. This guy is amazing. Drew Monson. I'm rolling, I'm rolling. All right now I'm going back in with the yellow and I'm brightening the center of these like yellow lines even further, even further. 
And you may not have patience for all this, and that's okay if you don't. Don't attempt it yourself then if you don't. Or just like do orange and then the black and then you're fine. This is just extra, extra pumpkin-y for you. All right, now this part's just for fun. I have UV reactive pigment that I'm going to put on the orange only because it's fun and completely unnecessary unless you're going to a rave as pumpkin face. Uh, otherwise you can just use, you know, whatever orange in there or if you have the party animal palette, you can just dip into that. I'm gonna take this. This is from a brand called Mayo Makeup. Honestly, I got these pigments a long time ago and I never used them. Uh, I was looking up if they're cruelty free. They say they are. Um, they're a tiny little, like, you know, some girl does it. So it's not advertised as UV reactive pigment, pigment, but it is. It definitely, definitely is. And I notice even if I just use a little bit of this, it still reacts with the UV. So that's really cool. All right, I've been sitting here trying to decide if I want to do the glitter. I'm thinking I probably should. I'm gonna use the NYX Glitter in Gunmetal on my eye area, I think. Just to make it more queeny, you know? Not so much of a pumpkin king, but a pumpkin queen. Disclaimer, NYX Glitter is technically not for the eyes, so if you are choosing to do this, you are on your own. You are technically not supposed to, but uh, it's still a cosmetic glitter. Gl 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 it's still a cosmetic gray glitter, so you know I'm going to. So I'm gonna tap it in, and I'm gonna use my Too Faced Glitter Glue. Bedazzle this bee, hmm? All right, I'm gonna do the hair really quickly and then I will reevaluate the situation, see if I wanna add anything, you know? Um, I'm definitely still gonna do the neck, but it's gonna be easier, I think, to curl my hair first as opposed to uh, after. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I'm happy with the glitter. I think it's cool. I might do glitter on the nose and mouth, but I'm not sure. That's why I wanna do the hair and then like reevaluate. I think that's enough. I think it's like glam pumpkin queen right now. So, okay. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go in with this thick clipless barrel. It's about uh, equivalent to a 31 millimeter, I believe, which is about one and a half, almost two inch barrel. And then <laughs> and I'm pretty much done, honestly. No, really, I'm gonna have a really messy, curly situation going on. And I'm just gonna go in and do some round curls. If you have like really thick hair, you might want to curl ahead of time just so you don't disturb the paint and then kind of pin it back and then mess it up. But I have about medium hair, but it's pretty fine and it's pretty early just to throw some curls into. All right, now hair spray it like crazy. And then we're gonna rough her up. This is where it gets real crazy. Start getting it really big and fluffy. That's some like Texas pumpkin hair right there. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get that wig out of the way. <laughs> it's not really a wig, but it looks like it. And then I'm gonna paint my neck real quick. So I'm really blending in. And after you're done putting on the cream, do not forget to set your neck. Really? I'm knee deep in grease paint. You wanna see me? Come see me. Sleep. Come see me. I'm just having fun. Ooh. <laughs> what do I look like? Weirdo. No, tell me what I look like. Pumpkin. Pumpkin queen. Pumpkin. Have sweet dreams. No, I'll be done soon. 
think one of the final steps, we just put some mascara on just to make sure that it's all blacked out, really not for any kind of bouginess. I was definitely tempted to put faux lashes on, but I'm like, eh, you're really not gonna see them in pictures. If you are gonna choose to do this and like go out, I think that would be really like cute and flirty because you probably see it in person just because of the glitter. One final step. I made this little hat. <laughs> so I need to put this on. Okay, so I know it's hard to see because of the black backdrop, but this is my little pumpkin queen. What do we think about that? So this is a Burger King hat. I tried looking everywhere for a king crown, just like a crown, whatever, and uh, couldn't find one. When I say look everywhere, I mean, I looked at three stores. I was annoyed and you know what? My daughter had a Burger King crown laying around and I was like, girlfriend, can I borrow that? If I borrow that, I mean, can I cover it in glitter and not give it back because it's gonna be trash after? She's like, yeah, sure. I think she works pretty, pretty nice. Let me get her on there, good. Okay, this plain black backdrop is so much better. Now I kind of look like a floating head, right? Yeah, I wanted to be like a floating pumpkin queen head thing. All right, here is the look all done up, all up close and dramatified. Like, yeah, but really in real life, I have to actually wash this off and go to bed because it is actually midnight. So that's unfortunate, that's sad. So I have to make sure I take enough pictures. But um, usually I like to throw in some real life uh, pictures, but really I'm just gonna go take a shower. So can't do that now, can we? If you've stumbled upon my channel for the very first time, hey, what's up, welcome. If you want to take this time to go ahead and hit that little red subscribe button, that would be awesome. You can join our little fam bam that we have here. I do not only post dramatic Halloween type of makeup videos and, and hair videos. I do everything beauty related, so regular makeup, makeup product reviews as well, tutorials, hair stuff, skincare stuff, everything. It's about time to wrap this puppy up, so I hope every single one of you have an awesome, wonderful, magical, spooky day.